Hi guys, welcome back to The Stretching Samurai. My name is Patrick Gravel. Today we're going to talk about a subject that happened to me two days ago, 48 hours ago. I injured myself. I sprained my ankle as I was going up a hill. I left my car at work and I had a portable scooter which I use because it saves me a lot of parking meter fees. And as I was pushing down, giving myself a push to go up a hill with it, my ankle smashed into the, the screw and the bolt that was holding the wheel in the back. And as it smashed in, my foot inverted or everted depending on how you're looking at it but me it's an everted foot and and sprained the inside of my foot so I had to act very fast because when you look at an injury there's three stages you have a mild irritation followed by inflammation followed by maybe torn or partially ruptured ligaments in my case I can stand on it so it's not a problem it's not a fracture either or else I would have been in a lot more pain, sharp stabbing pain. But I did feel a lot of swelling and if you see the pictures that will follow through this little intro, you'll see how bad it was. It was open, it was fully swelled up, it was three times the size. So what do you do now? So just. The last step is to apply kinesiology tape to reduce the swelling over the general area. Now what I like to do is I like to take some rock sauce, which is a product that transforms into hot and cold, which is really beneficial for releasing pains and, and mostly uh, helping with this injury, right? So I'm going to apply some of that over it, right? Okay. Now as you can see, there's a lot of uh, still edema right here, blood pooling here, a lot of blood pooling still there. So what we're going to do is I cut my strips already about six inch long and I rounded the edges all around and then you cut with a scissors and strips leaving about this much on the top and what we're going to do is we're going to do a spider like shape going here and on this side okay so I'm going to do this make sure that your foot is not up and let it go down just hanging just like that to have a little bit of a stretch Okay, so here we go. We're gonna apply the first one. Of course, when you put the tape, originally you don't wanna put any pressure on the this side right here, right? No pressure on the end. And you're gonna go one by one, just putting each strip, just like that, on the feet. No pressure, nothing, just like that. Go. Okay. What you want to do is try to cover as much of the area as possible, just like that, as you can see. Here we go. Just like that. Your bravo. Just like that. Here we go. And maybe it's a little long, but you get the drift, right? I'm putting right there. And I'm going to put the second strip, and they got to cross. Very important that they have to cross. I'm going to put it on the other side right here. Right here. Of course, you can put it more on this side, but if you're not experienced, you can do it about that way. Right? Not everybody's a specialist in taping. So what you're going to do is you're just going to make them cross just like that. We want to just cover as much of a region as we can, right, just like that, there we go, there we go. and just one more right here. There we go. So as you can see there, they're crossing and crossing. Basically that's what reducing the swelling is like. This is a nice little kin tape. Of course, there's areas to do it, but if you're not sure how to apply the tape, just make sure that they're crossing and you cover as much ground as you can. So first we put some ice, then we try to do a nodular frequency 
to increase basically the reconstruction of scar tissue and of course just to make sure that there's a superficial layer of, of the fascia on the top and the bottom that there's enough oxygenation we just do a taping just like this and that's basically how I got my, ta uh, my ankle to a very swelled up part 48 hours later it looks a lot better as you must have known initially when you look at that okay so so guys I hope you like this little video I hope it's helpful to do first aid and treatment immediately after an ankle sprain if you've got any questions please feel free to inbox me and if there's a topic I haven't touched yet please let me know I'll make the video for you this is the stretching samurai saying good night ciao